Hi guys, my name is Inyoma. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I do product and lifestyle reviews on this channel and a lot of hair stuff and hair reviews and hair product reviews for long specifically because that's what I have. And this is going to be a special video. It is my 10 year luck anniversary. I have had my locks for a decade. That is crazy. <laughs> And I'm just so excited and happy. As you can see, I cut and dyed it, and you can see my other video for that one, the process of going through that. Make sure that I'm not spilling out here. Lord have mercy. Okay, I'm really, really, really pleased with the results and generally very pleased with the past 10 years of having locks. I think it was the best spontaneous hair decision that I've ever made, and I'm just very happy with it. And so I want this video to be a 10 reasons that you should get locks video. So stay tuned. Oh, also, if you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. So reason number one, this is going to sound weird, but it's usually a criticism of people that have locks and they're usually like, you can't do anything to your hair. You don't have to do anything to your hair. Well, yeah, you don't have to do anything to your hair. <laughs> I think that's wonderful. And I think maybe it's because when I fully um, decided to get locks, I had already been a loose natural for years at a time when it was not yet popular to be a loose natural. So this was around 2004 or five, right after I graduated high school, I got locked, not locks, excuse me. I decided to go natural because I had permed my hair and the entire front of my head was gone. What edges? It had disappeared completely not an edge to be found. My mom had resisted perming our hair for years. My mom was one of the few women in Nigeria who actually wanted to make sure that our hair was taken care of. And you know, she spent a lot of time on our hair and we had a lot of hair. So <laughs> the women spent a lot of time making sure our natural hair was, was really good and really healthy. But then, you know, when you get older and you start to want to look like your peers and we came to the US and all that, we're like, no, perm our hair and everything. Well, she was like, fine, she did. Our hair fell out, mine specifically gone in the front and I was just like I don't like this look do not like it so then decided to go loose natural and there was no YouTube at this time or maybe there was it just wasn't a thing at this time so it's not like I had any tutorials or anything so I basically just loaded my hair with a lot of butter this time I was in college so my mom wasn't doing my hair didn't really take the best care of my hair my hair still grew but it wasn't in the best condition because there wasn't a lot of information yet out there Again, the internet was still not a thing as it was now. I know you young children, TikTok generation, you're used to seeing everything at the, the little tap of a finger in your phone screen. But no, we didn't have that. <laughs> so I basically had to figure a lot of things out of my own. And I, I enjoyed the process of being loose natural, but the whole washing and detangling and combing and braiding and you know all that stuff, buying the hair bundles and then braiding the hair and taking it down and washing and I was just, it's just, I had things to do, <laughs> literally. So I was in pharmacy school and then I went to residency in Montana in a place where there are no black people. So this was me washing and detangling and twisting and braiding and all that stuff. And I was just like, I'm tired. Residency is hard, first of all. And then you're doing your hair at the same time. I was like, I'm tired. Luckily, Pinterest and decided to lock my hair. All the criticism around locks at the time was like, oh, you're stuck in this hairstyle for the rest of your life. And I was just like, that sounds great. <laughs> I don't have to do anything to my hair and it still looks good. Yeah, sign me up. So yes, it's a criticism that you are locked up, as they say, but there are so many lock styles. As I pointed out in my previous, you know, things I wish I knew about locks, there's so many lock styles that you can do. And even with my hair this short, I can braid it back and I can wear a wig if I wanted to. Not that I want to, but I could also do that if, if I wanted to. There are people who add braids, like actual, like Senegalese twists or um, box braids to their locks. I've seen it happen and I'm just like, how do they do that? But they do it, so that's also another option. There's just so many things that you can do with your locks, but at the end of the day, you don't have to do much to your hair, which is fantastic. So reason number two is, I see a lot of videos. <laughs> Of people in protective hairstyles you know they have their hair is braided and they have a wig on and it's great because it makes your hair grow really long because you're not doing anything to it <clears throat> so i know that's why you get lost anyway and then you know you see them doing the whole when you have locks your scalp is right there i mean it feels great it just feels marvelous to be able to do this <laughs> I'm not knocking anybody that, ha that has weaves or students. I'm just, you know, poking fun because I just remember the days of doing all that. And now to be able to just do this with my scalp 
Also, when somebody massages your scalp for you, it is the most beautiful thing. It feels amazing. I need to find someone to massage my scalp. Okay, so that's reason number two, is that you can just reach your scalp whenever you want. Reason number three is that you can drive by all of these beauty supply stores without even thinking about stopping. <laughs> it feels the same as basically when I'm driving my electric car and I don't have to stop by a gas station. Those lines at the Costco gas stations are insane. And I'm just like, bypass, it's great. It's great to be able to just bypass that. And you're driving by, you see the beauty supply store and unless you're stopping for something skincare related, you ain't gotta buy bundles. You ain't gotta pay $500 for a wig, a human hair wig, and then pay for someone to install it and you know, the glue on the scalp and all that stuff. If that is your cup of tea again, I'm not knocking you. This video is about why you should get locks. <laughs> and I'm just trying to give you some pros as to why getting locks is great because you don't have to worry about that anymore. You don't have to do that. Your hair is your hair and you don't have to worry about, you know, putting a protective style on it. N not necessarily. I think some people do, but not me. So yeah, that's reason number three. You can drive by the beauty supply store and just keep pushing. Reason number four is that if you're lazy, like me, I am the queen of laziness. I only do things because I have to do them in order to adult and eat, you know. But if you are lazy, just like me, again, locks are the perfect hairstyles for you because, again, you don't have to do anything. <laughs> Once your hair is locked up, you're good to go. And I wake up in the morning, I take my satin hair cap off, and I keep it pushing. There is no, all right, now let's do this. And you can, if you want to, you can twist and you can do all the styles. This was done by the, the hairstylist and I'm probably gonna keep it in for as long as I can. But you don't have to do any of that if you don't want to. You can literally just wake up and go. You're not late, you're, I mean, I'm still late, but that's not the point. You can wake up and go <laughs> because your hair is already done. There's nothing else for you to do for the most part. So of course you sometimes, unless you're doing free form locks, you have to retwist or retighten with a crochet hook or with a interlocking tool, but you don't have to do that as often as you think. I only retighten my locks about once a quarter, so not very often at all. Or if I'm going to a wedding, I'll probably just like retighten the front and then keep it pushing. So you don't have to do much when you're you're going to bed. There's no, okay, I gotta braid my hair now to keep out the knots, then wake up and take the braids out or take the twist out. You ain't gotta do any of that. You just wake up and you go. So I think if you're a lazy person and you don't necessarily want to do your hair all the time and you don't wanna put wigs on and you don't wanna cut your hair short, then consider coming over to the lock side. The water's warm. Number five, you can go to the beach, you can go to the pool, you can wet your hair and you can just keep it pushing. So I'm not saying you don't have to wash your hair after you go to the beach or the pool, but when you wet your hair, it still looks great. It still looks the same when you have locks. And then you can just wash it out quickly. You can retwist if you want, but you don't have to, because I like the loose roots style personally. And I think it's just great because when I was a natural, like a loose natural, that was something that I would have to consider is when I was going to the beach or the pool, like, do I really want to get my hair wet? Mostly when I go to the beach now, I'm just like, yeah, we're going all the way in, you know, because I know that I'll just go home, wash my hair and, and just keep going. So it's great. And the ice cream man has come every time. It's like he knows when I'm recording. Yeah, so you don't have to worry about getting your hair wet when you have locks, which I think is phenomenal. There is no shrinkage. There is no, actually your hair gets longer when it's wet because the, the hair just soaks up all the, the water. So that's usually when you'll see your true length is when the hair is wet. So yeah, just if you're trying to get wet, if you're trying to swim, if you're trying to just frolic on the beach, Again, locks are the way to go. Number six, you will save so much money, so much money if you get locks. And caveat, you do your locks yourself. Now, when I went to get my hair done, I actually had to fly, as in my hair done, I mean this color and cut. I tried to find someone in California. I really did. I even asked the woman who did my hair for recommendations and she recommended people who she trusted to actually cut and color the hair. But none of them were available and some of them were actually not taking any new customers at all. So I was like, you know what, screw this. I want my hair cut and I want it colored and I want it by somebody that I trust. So I flew to Maryland and had her do it for me. She also gave me a hair bonnet and hair oil and that all costs about $500, right? So that is pretty expensive, but I hear that people pay $700, $1,000 for braids. 
I was like, what? I did my braids the entire time I was a loose natural or my sisters did it for me. I never paid anybody rent money, mortgage money to braid my hair. Again, I understand because people just can't braid their hair and it's a tedious process that takes hours and hours. So you gotta pay people what they're worth. But if you have locks, $500 is the most amount of money I have spent on my hair in 10 years. In 10 years for something that I'm not gonna do for a while because I'm keeping this color and this cut for a long time and I have the shampoo that's gonna add color back to the hair when it starts to fade. So I'm not anticipating spending $500 a month or every couple of months doing my hair. And somebody said they paid $1,000 for micro links, which is adding individual strands of weave, I think, to your hair. And I was just like, whew, that is steep. But that is the price of doing hair these days. It's it's a tedious, long process. And these people are literally committing hours of their lives to do your hair. So I understand why there's such a high price around it. But I'm saying that if you have locks, again, I spent $500 in 10 years to do my hair. After I locked my hair, once I got it locked at the salon in Seattle, which I didn't even have to do, I could have just started it myself. I literally haven't had anybody else do my hair since then that I've paid money for. It has always been me saving a ton of money by just washing my hair and keeping it going. There's literally nothing else I do. I wash it, I let it dry, I retwist when it's time to retwist and I keep it going. So I anticipate that I have saved myself thousands of dollars because I think as black women, we love to look good and you know, we do look good. But our upkeep when it comes to hair specifically can cost a lot of money because there's a lot of things that goes into doing our hair and society is not as accepting of an unkept black woman, unkept in quotation marks, not black women, <laughs> as they are of white women. So you can see a white women who can do a messy bun, you know, and her hair is not shampooed or combed or brushed or anything and she can go to work and be fine. Nobody says anything. But a black woman does that with her 4C afro and does a messy bun and they're like, why aren't your edges laid? Why isn't this? Why isn't that? You don't look professional as they like to say. So I think that that's why we spend so much time trying to make sure that we look presentable in the eyes of corporate America and that costs money. So I get why it's expensive, but especially now because locks are becoming more mainstream and more acceptable. I love that I don't have to worry about that with my hair and I don't have to spend thousands of dollars just trying to look professional. I literally just wash my hair, let it dry and I go to work. So if you're thinking about saving money on your hair and you're over doing all the other stuff, then again, come over to locks. It's great. Number seven, how many other hairstyles can you think of that literally only require you to do this? And maybe a little bit of this. as your upkeep. Seriously, like how easy is that? I was watching an Instagram because I follow hair pages because I just love them. I love hair pages, even though that they're not necessarily lock pages. I just think that they're really funny and entertaining, a lot of them. Healthy hair journey on Instagram is hilarious. And then, you know, somebody was posting a tutorial on how to grow long, loose, loose natural hair. And her hair was beautiful. And so I went on her page and I was reading things that she does and I'm like, that's so many steps. It's so many steps, like <laughs> for somebody who does not have time or the inclination or the energy, just being able to just spray my hair and oil the scalp and it smells amazing and keep it pushing. I think that that's, that's just such a blessing that comes with having locks is that there's just so little maintenance required for the most part. And I see people who do the absolute most of their locks because they want to, not because they have to. You know what I mean? Because locks inherently, if you leave your hair alone, it will lock. And depending on your texture, it might lock later or earlier. So some of us that are from the African continent with very tight curls, yeah, my hair locked pretty quick. It was like, okay, you want to lock? Sure, let's do it. And I don't really have to do anything else for that process to happen. So if you're trying to avoid the whole 20 step natural hair care routine and all that, great, lock your hair. I think it's, it's the simplest thing that you can do. The ease of it is fantastic. Number eight, you don't have to pay for expensive shampoos. This is going to be controversial, but I stand by it. And Yanni the Locologist also stands by it. I have been using dish soap shampoo on my hair for years and my hair has been fine. <laughs> 
So I don't understand the hoopla about it because people are like, oh, it's gonna damage your hair. It didn't damage my locks. My locks were damaged from years of using non-clarifying shampoos and also when, ah, uh, geez. So that was it and me not actually knowing how to take care of my locks in the beginning. When I started using dish soap, a lot of the buildup that was in my hair started coming out. So I used lemon dish soap and that was what I used to wash my hair. And it was cheap. So there are a lot of shampoos that you would spend, I don't know, $50, $60 for, but dish soap is cheap and you can share it with what you use to wash your dishes. So I'm just like, I don't see the downside here. Again, this is not for everyone. If you have found a shampoo and a conditioner set that works great for your hair, by all means, continue. I actually can't use dish soap anymore right now just because of the color in my hair. I'm not sure how it would affect it. I think it'll actually make it fade a lot quicker. So I'm using a specific color shampoo for my hair. But before my hair was dyed, which you don't have to dye your hair, I used dish soap a lot. It was super clarifying. It got rid of anything that was stuck in my hair. And then I started using a conditioner that was recommended by the viewers, thank you. Or I would just use oils, like do a hot oil treatment. And that would usually just add some moisture back to my hair after I sprayed it with water. If you're trying to save money and not complicate the process, when it comes to locks, there's not much you have to do and you can use dish soap on your hair. Yes, you can. I did it for years. Um, you don't have to. You don't have to. I'm just showing, telling you what actually worked for me for years. So if you're willing to try it, I'll put a link below. You can try it, especially if you have things in your hair that are just not coming out with regular shampoo. And then if you don't want to try it, then don't try it. It's your hair. You know, do what you want. <laughs> and don't worry about what anybody else thinks, okay? It's your hair. Number nine, home stretch. You can grow really, really long hair with locks effortlessly. It's so easy to grow because your hair just keeps growing. It, it's gonna do what it does. When I first started my hair, I was obsessed with just trying to make sure I could get it in a bun, right? Before I knew it, when I stopped worrying about all that, I was doing all kinds of buns. My hair was past my waist and I was just like, huh, remember when you were so obsessed with trying to put your hair in a bun? You know, that beginning stage when the hair is just locking and it's like, oh, it's so short and all that. You can bypass all of that nowadays, apparently, because you can have locks installed with, you know, human hair. So if your hair is this short and you cut it here, they can just install the locks for you and you keep it pushing. And I'm all for that. I know some people are like, oh, it's cheating. You know, you got to go through the whole process of starting from the bottom. And I'm like, no, you don't. If you want to you totally can do it the way that I did and start literally from hair this small and then and then grow it out but you don't have to you can actually start with your own loose natural hair and they can crochet it turn it into locks or you can have locks installed do whatever works for you to so skip whatever phase you want to avoid it is your hair your life your body you can grow your own hair very long effortlessly without having to go through so many stages of washing and combing and detangling your locks are gonna grow that's what they're gonna do as long as you're eating a healthy diet you are not over manipulating your roots. You are keeping your roots largely untwisted for the most part and you retwist it maybe once a month. I do every three months. Um, some people do even longer every six months or so. Then your hair will grow and it'll stay healthy. You drink water, you moisturize your scalp with water, you put healthy oils in your hair and you don't overburden them with products or chemicals. Your hair will grow very long and for a lot of people very fast. So I grew my hair as the waist and I was just like, we're done. <laughs> Let's cut it and I've never been happier. I'm so happy. My neck feels so free. So yeah, so don't worry about, you know, your hair not growing when you have locks. If there is one hairstyle that your hair will grow on, it's locks. Okay, so number 10. Finally, locks look amazing. Honestly, there are very few people that I have seen with locks and I'm just like, dang, that does not look good. <laughs> It's usually not people of the melanated. <clears throat> anyway, as I was saying, locks look beautiful. I, I honestly just love looking at locks, playing with them. If I'm at the grocery store and I see someone with locks, I stare a little bit longer because I just love seeing the different thickness and textures that everybody's hair forms when they when they have locks. You know, my sister has micro locks that are really tiny locks and I think it's fascinating. My friend Chantal has thicker locks than mine, which is actually why I'm combining my locks because I want thicker locks. And her hair is so beautiful. And I'm just, I just, I really just am in awe of locks. My, my friend Courtney also has locks and they got thick and long so fast. I feel like I blinked and now they're just 
this thick and long. So I'm just like, I just find locks beautiful. And every time that I have thought about what my hair looked like before I got locks, which was great. It was loose, natural. It was, I loved it. It was pretty, but it doesn't compare to how I feel about my locks because it's not just the fact that it looks good. It's the ease that goes into making it look good. I have had to do so little to get my hair to look good when it comes to locks compared to how much I had to go through to get my hair to look good when it came to my loose natural. And everybody's journey is different. But for me, my journey towards locks in these past 10 years and the joy that they have brought me, the kind of um, ease that they have brought to my life and the uh, just the release of not having to worry about doing my hair on a daily basis. It has been wonderful and amazing. I have enjoyed the process thoroughly. I'm looking forward to the next 10 years. I don't foresee a future where I go back to being a loose natural just because of my lazy nature. <laughs> Never say never because there's a long way between now and never, but I really do think that locks are here for me for the foreseeable future and I have just enjoyed this process and I think that for a lot of people it is the best hairstyle that you can do if you want to. So again, I'm not knocking loose natural hairstyles. I'm not lock knocking permed hairstyles. I'm just sharing what the past 10 years have been like for me and also giving you 10 reasons why you might consider locks in your future, why it's just a wonderful, great hairstyle and I can't stop shaking my hair because look at it. <laughs> it's so good. It's so nice. I just, I love it so much. So yeah, that's it. 10 reasons why you should get locks. And if you can think of any more, please leave them in the comments below. I'm sure you guys have a ton more. And can you just share your lock journey, how long you've been locked? And if you're considering getting locks, if you have any questions about it, you can also check out the other videos that I've made about locks and, and products that I've tried. And yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Really do appreciate it. And Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and I will catch you in my next videos. Bye.